Well, hello everyone. Here is a look at what you are about to see in this video. We've had some yummy food around here and I'm just going to give you a look at it for some ideas and inspiration for maybe something that you can put together for your family. Let's start off with these baked Italian sliders. I'm using these Aunt Millie's Hawaiian dinner rolls and I'm just going to keep them in this same container they came in. I'm just going to open it up so I have a workspace. I'm going to get these things sliced apart and I'm going to use this Dillman Farm Smoky Chipotle Mustard. This is a local company. This was our first time to use this. Oh my goodness, it was very, very tasty. But you could use any type of sauce that you wanted on your Italian sliders. This is just what I knew I wanted to use on mine and the sauce was really, really good. I can think of so many other things I want to use this delicious smoky chipotle mustard for. So I'm gonna get a good base coat down here and start building these sliders. All right, now that I have a layer of ham down, I'm gonna go in with this hard salami and then I'm gonna move on to the provolone cheese. Alright, we're going in with another layer of salami. I would have probably put my ham in the middle if I was thinking about it, but it all goes down the same place, so it's not really mattering, but I probably would have if I thought about it. But I am just layering on some more salami. I just don't want to skimp around. These uh, buns are a little bit thick, so there's plenty of breading. I want to make sure there's plenty of good sandwich ingredients on the inside. So, on top of my second layer of salami i'm going in with just some of these little tomatoes that i've got all sliced up i'm just going to put a good layer on top of the salami and then i decided i wanted to season up these tomatoes i like to do this if i'm putting tomato on a sandwich to give the tomato its own little bit of seasoning so i'm going in here with the garlic salt. I get this one at Aldi. It's a really good garlic salt blend. And then on top of that, I'm going to put down some banana pepper rings. That is really going to add a lot of wonderful flavor and kind of amped up the Italian uh, style of these sandwiches by adding these on. All right, and now we're going to move to the top portion of these little Hawaiian slider rolls. We are going to add some yummy Hellman's mayonnaise to the top. We're just going to give a generous coating of that. It'll help to kind of keep those tomatoes and the peppers in place. And before we put this top on, I am going to sprinkle some Italian seasoning on top of this mayonnaise. So that's just going to add another layer of flavor. All right, I have melted some butter and I've added in some garlic salt and that is what I am going to use to top these slider buns here before we get these in the oven. Now one side, you can see I just didn't get through it very evenly with my knife and it looks like a little bit of a mess over there, but that's okay. It baked up just fine. They get really crispy in the oven and kind of get a, a good like crispy coat on the top of these buns, which makes them perfect. So yes, I'm just gonna slide these all up with some garlic, salt, and butter, and I'm gonna put these in the oven to bake. Oh, you don't have to bake them too long, maybe 10, 15 minutes. You just wanna watch them so they don't get too dark and toasty, but it doesn't take long to heat everything through. And then lastly, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of this everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. I'm not a huge fan of the seasoning. My husband really likes it though, and I wanted something on the top to just give a, a little fun look, and it does provide some flavor as well, so I sprinkled a little bit on top. And then here is a look at the sliders as they were um, out of the oven. 
they baked up wonderfully I promise you these were so delicious it was a great combo of flavors and I served this alongside some homemade potato soup it was delicious I didn't show me making this potato soup but I can link a couple videos below where I have made potato soup on my channel before this was a delicious meal definitely recommend making these sliders all right, a while back, my husband picked up this Trader Giatos, Trader Joe's meat lasagna. That's what the box looks like. And then here's what it looks like coming out of the oven. Look at that. This was really good. We would buy it again. Um, it was a nice portion too for, there's just the two of us when it's just the two of us here. Um, and it wasn't so, so big that we had a ton left over. So that was nice. I served a Greek salad and the great value breadsticks. I do those in my air fryer. It was very delicious. If you haven't seen uh, the videos about the Trader Joe's products that we've been trying, I will link those below. Be sure and check those out. Right, this is my husband's very favorite hands down favorite way for me to make a pot roast so you saw me put the chuck roast in the crock pot here and then I'm just gonna season it with some garlic powder and then I use a package of brown gravy mix and a can of cream of mushroom soup and just a little bit of water the gravy that that makes is off the chart delicious it's James very favorite way to have a pot roast and I learned that recipe years and years ago from uh, a preacher and his wife that were traveling through and they were at our church and we got to talking about food and she said that's how she makes a pot roast I tried it and we loved it and I do make various types of pot roast from time to time I'll try different ones we love the Mississippi pot roast as well but this one is an old tried and true favorite so if you haven't tried it yet I encourage you to do so I am adding in here some fresh onion that's gonna provide some great flavor as this is cooking low and slow in the crock pot all day almost forgot the black pepper can't forget that that goes so well with the cream of mushroom soup hi helper hi what are we making corn muffins and what all did you put in there eggs and Pretty much that milk looks like milk. Milk, right? Mm -hmm. Sugar. Sugar. Flour. Flour. Did we put in cornmeal? Yeah. Mm hmm And we're making corn muffins, huh? Mm -hmm. We're making corn muffins. And what's tomorrow? My birthday. How old are you going to be? Bye. This is my last day and being four. Bye-bye. <laughs> Can you smile? Think these are going to be good? Mm -hmm. I decided to look up a copycat recipe for Cracker Barrel's corn muffins because I love those things so much. This one was close. It was a little sweeter than Cracker Barrel's um, and it didn't have that really good crunch like Cracker Barrel's has, but it was a good recipe and I'll have it linked below. And here is a look at our plate. I added in some carrots about halfway through the cook time. They were small ones, so I knew it wouldn't take them very long. I made some Yukon Gold mashed potatoes, cooked some green beans. There's our corn muffin. This meal was delicious. Comfort food finest. All right, guys. For tonight's dinner, we are having shrimp fried rice. So earlier today in my rice steamer, I steamed up the rice here. This is basmati rice. It is cold and ready to go. That's the best way for fried rice. Here's my bag of shrimp. I'm gonna add in two eggs. I'm gonna sprinkle in some of the car carrots and peas blend at the end, but the bulk of my peas are gonna come from these snap peas. I'm gonna cut those probably in half, toss those in. I have some diced onion, some garlic, and some green onion. And then I'll also use ginger I'm gonna use a little bit of this teriyaki for my shrimp. I have some liquid aminos, sesame oil that'll go in at the very end, and some black pepper. I have made rice on my channel, fried rice, many times. I can link those below for uh, other variations that I have done, but shrimp is what we are making tonight, so I'm gonna to get started. 
Okay, I have liberally coated the bottom of my nonstick, and I'm going to saute my shrimp a little bit on their own, and I'm gonna drizzle in the teriyaki. I'm not gonna cook the shrimp all the way through. I'll let that finish when I add it to the rice. But I want the shrimp to go separate, with a little bit of the teriyaki, so it can really get a good flavor on just the shrimp before I add it to the rest. Okay, you can see that just about all of the cooking spray is gone. I've turned it once here and turn it again real quick. Of course with shrimp you don't want to overcook it. I'm just going to drizzle on a little bit of this sweet baby raised teriyaki and marinade, sauce and marinade. I pan fried these just really quickly and then I took them from the pan and moved them into a bowl and I'll just add them back into my rice later. The Sweet Baby Ray's teriyaki has a really good flavor. We were really um, happy with the flavor that it added to these shrimp and to the rice. All right, I'm gonna add in my olive oil. And in goes the cold rice. I'm going to add in my onions. And next I have my garlic and my garlic press. And I'm going to add about three times that amount. I'm also going to be making these pagoda pork egg rolls. I'm going to be doing these in the air fryer and I'll show you these of course when we're ready to serve these up. All right, in go the shrimp. I tell you what, this meal felt like we were at a Chinese restaurant and it was right here at home and you can't beat that. We love fried rice and this teriyaki on the shrimp was just a really, really good flavor. We loved it. I want to say thank you guys for watching my channel, for supporting, for the comments that you leave, for the thumbs up that you leave. All of that is so, so greatly appreciated. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, I would love for you to subscribe. And that way you'll know um, when I post videos, if you hit the little bell notification, it'll notify you that I have a new video up. And um, again, I appreciate you guys so, so much. We are just about finished with this. I topped it with some green onions. I also made, in addition to the egg rolls, some little dumplings. I did those in the air fryer. They turned out great. This was a delicious meal. We love fried rice. It's one of our favorites. Chinese food in general, we love 
there they are coming out of the air fryer this was a really yummy meal and that wraps it up for this week you guys thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next what's for dinner or whatever might come in between and i'll see you the next time